shabby. its greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too.
guys! It's me! I'm back! Nanaki? I can't believe it! It really is you! <laughs> we were so worried! Oh, come home! Whoa! Ugh. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on! Let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology, Cosmo Canyon. concert at the Royal Coast. Welcome to shop here. Don't 
you dare use my weapons for anything unsavory. Get your hands on the proper weapon, it's the only thing shooting you. Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why did we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights.
Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The canyon's also famous for its unparalleled view of the starry night sky. I made sure to bring all my night photography equipment along. Can't sleep until I've got the perfect starlit shot. Just let me know if you find any good photo spots. Not so fast. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. It might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh! Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> your curiosity. They are essential to my studies of the planet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. model of our planet and the surrounding stars. 
One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. And yet, it's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my dear. He was quite a handful. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though no, I suspect it can't detect much now. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies.
wonderful dirt indeed. One I have heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Sent to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. that essence were to be entirely depleted. Of course, 
these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance.
nothing to fear. It is not our fellow man, nor any creature, big or small, with whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond the confines. which may attempt to claim and consume the planet. And so I bid you, her children, to join hands together the wisdom of the planet. She would never forget. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. If people everywhere resolve to not take her back. This village is... And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. Within you all are the planet's thoughts and memories. By unlocking this knowledge, it allows us to hide Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward? The planet speaks to all of her children. The seminar is in progress. I've uh, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he, he used to say it was a waste. I'm spending all my blessings of the planet. Fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than welcome to do so. And I was a burden on the planet, but he was wrong. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it. 
except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Put your faith in our grief. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. 
said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. Like the youth who left the bay. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given.
It is time! <sighs> Whoa! Savvy, huh? Meant every word, though. So. This is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale Reservoir. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Light possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds and trees. They know that life that is all so around them, be it so through moving. the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet.